Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is the reproducer and horn fit on an amber roll of 30. And the reproducer on an amber roll of 30 fits into this hole right here. And sometimes because the reproducers are pot metal and they swell and they stick, you can mount the body of the reproducer in the vise. I use the brass eggs. And I use thin sandpaper like this. And I sand this way. And then I move to 12 o'clock. Then we move over here to 3, to 9, and then over here to 3. And you sand around that like that. And then you come over here and you fit it in into the horn right here. And you want to make sure that it moves like this smoothly, okay? It's, you don't feel binding. And I also use a bigger flex hone, and I just flex this hone out too to get rid of any burrs in there real quickly. That makes that work better. And the other thing about it on these pot metal reproducers, the weight bolt that fits in the back right here like that, this little screw or bolt that fits in here and it bolts to the weight, these get swelled up too. So what I do is I'm, I measure the shaft with my veneer calibers I've showed you before in videos. And I ordered a small flex hone, and then I just come in here, and now the bolt falls in easily, and this rotates, because you have to have the weight rotating. It has to be smooth. And the other thing I did was, I polished out the lead rod here for the carriage. I've showed you how to do that before. And then I flex tone this also to get rid of burrs and manner things. And now this will slide smoothly. Because on an amber hole of 30, you have the carriage moving, and then you have it pivoting in the horn, and this all makes a drag on everything. You gotta get this to go smoothly. And these are just little things I do to make them run a lot smoother, and that's my tip for the day.